A Defenders exclusive, he survived multiple tours of duty, received the Purple Heart, the Bronze Star, only to lose his life while seeking treatment at a facility that's supposed to help wounded veterans. And a wrongful death lawsuit. The family of retired tech sergeant Gabriel Wozniak claimed that his death could have been prevented. The night team's Dylan Collier pieces together what happened in this Defenders report. Warrior's Heart, a sprawling 543-acre ranch in Bandera that is typically a safe haven for military veterans and first responders coping with everything from post-traumatic stress disorder to chemical dependency. Years after being medically discharged from the Air Force, like so many others, retired Technical Sergeant Gabriel Wozniak came through this gate in August 2020 wanting help. He had experienced some TBIs and was just dealing with some post-deployment issues. J.C. Pavelic is an attorney representing Wozniak's family, hired to file a lawsuit late last year accusing Warrior's Heart of committing gross negligence in connection to the Air Force vet's death. The morning of October 8, 2020, a staff member found Wozniak's body at the base of these 30-foot water towers. An employee told Bandera County Sheriff's investigators Wozniak asked him around 2 a.m. if he could walk the property because he was having a hard time sleeping. Deputies noted green paint on the bottom of Wozniak's shoes matched that of the condensation-covered tank and that finger marks on top of it indicated Wozniak attempted to catch himself but had slid toward the edge before falling. Photos from the scene show ladders to access the towers were just off the ground, and security panels that could have stopped someone from climbing up them were unlocked. Two months later, a medical examiner concurred with the sheriff's office in ruling Wozniak's death an accident. At the time of his death, Wozniak was a week away from leaving Warrior's Heart and had made plans with his teenage daughter to move to Colorado. A search of Wozniak's room at the facility uncovered no signs of foul play or a suicide note. And two of the last people to talk to him while he was alive said Wozniak was acting normal. After the vet's death, the ladders were drastically shortened and based on this footage captured by Sky 12, no longer appear to be accessible to people standing on the ground. The fact that they cut back these ladders and made it difficult for someone standing on the ground to gain access, what does that tell you about this situation? I think it was very preventable. They also had locks on the water tower that were never locked. Safety failures, according to Pavelic, that took a war hero from his family much too soon. It's just been really hard. Gabriel was a great person. Everyone that we've talked to about him, he was an amazing man and made um, a huge impact on everyone's life. And so while they're doing great things, this should have never happened and his life should not have ended here in Bandera. For the Defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. Citing the pending lawsuit, the CEO of Warriors Heart wouldn't comment on this story. The suit seeks up to a million dollars in damages.